uh, hi everyone and welcome back so uh, let's talk about uh, dynamo db first so in the dynamo db what all things we are going to explore so first of all what is dynamo db dynamo db is a fully managed internet scalable easily administered and cost effective no sql database it's like fully managed aws is providing this as a managed no sql database which is known as the dynamo db i mean if you just read the definition and it's uh, it, it provides a uh, very high performance i mean when we start using it then you would be able to see this it's not same as any other database where you have a database and you will have multiple document collections and all these things it's like you will be able to create only single table in a particular region like you can see the direct option that there is a create table right create table means you will be able to create table there is no such concept of database when you do the create table you should be able to enter into this and table name is like like say okay store and partition key which can be a store id and uh, here is another thing till now in the rdbms or no sql database there is always auto generated underscore id key in the mongodb or if you talk about rdbms then you will always have a primary key either auto generated or a uuid right so here in the mongodb so here in the dynamo db table here there is a concept of partition key okay so if you think that this partition key whatever you are providing that is unique enough then you don't need to add a sort key if you think that i may need a sort key which will become combining both sort key and partition key that will become unique then you can create a primary key so you have to select a sort key in that case otherwise if you think that id is enough which is unique i'm providing then you don't need to add a sort key so to understand this it's something like this okay so you have this kind of uh, selection in among uh, uh, in dynamo so you have product ids like you can see the products are not unique product id is not unique one two two three so this is not unique right so in that case you need to have a sort key in dynamo table and sort key can be any other column with com a combination of this sort key and partition key it becomes primary key which is unique for each and every document in the dynamo okay so let's to just create and we can just select some defaults okay uh, resource not found okay, that, that is fine we are not uh, select looking for this so this is our resource yarn we just created a store as a table and currently we don't have any items you can actually start creating the item uh, it's an id okay and you can keep adding i wanted to insert append of type string which is name list and of type string description test so here what i did is i created a first document right first id which is unique now if you try to insert the same id like uh, if i want to create a same id one then it will not be allowed right because this is the partition key for our collection right and here we can see all different things it's like a one single table representing a dynamo database i mean there is no concept of database it's just a table and this is the ern we can just switch to a different region and create another table in another region but this is what so in this store we can see a lot of things you can also register a trigger because this dynamo db lambda sqs sns all these shoots together because these are event driven technologies you want to trigger one lambda function when there is an update in the dynamo you want to trigger a lambda function when there is a update in the file in the s3 you want to trigger a lambda when there is a message arrived in the sqs right on all these kind of scenarios we can use these lambdas lambdas are event driven and that event can come from the sqs can come from uh, uh s3 can come from any origin specifically we do it for the s3 like something updated on s3 let's execute this lambda function and reprocess that file something updated in the dynamo db collection okay let's execute this lambda and do the processing new message arrived on the sqs queue execute the lambda and process it 
okay so lambda is like event driven and it suits together with all these other aws services that's why we are talking lambda dynamo db together dynamo db table we have created and now so this is just a basic like now we can talk about the scalability performance using aws uh, dynamo db developers can combine incremental scalability and high performance with the ease of cloud administration and all okay it allows you the cross region replication uh, fine grained access control a uh, high level and we have already seen how the documents are getting stored i mean this is a no sql so consider that in one document you are putting the data something like this in another document your data structure can be something else your id is something which you have to keep uh, i i don't want a name or something i have a type type is data something like this and we should be able to save it because there is no particular structure this is a no sql in the first uh, document i had a description name in second document i don't have a description and name i have a type right so this is a, this is how it works so we have a tables we have the items and attributes right this is so if you see the create item this item is like you are creating a record table we already have so table items and these are the attributes we are creating inside it okay so we just need to uh, we just need to take care about uh, like what is our partition key do we need a sort key and partition key and sort key will become primary key which represents the uniqueness right okay uh, this is all about uh, so now what we will do is uh, once this is done we will also talk a little bit more about dynamo db uh, partition key and all these things partition key and sort key how to choose them how to create a proper structure of table based on your project need okay a simple primary key like i we can talk now so simple primary key if you see this store here simple primary key is talking about just a partition key but uh, if you want some uniqueness your primary key uh, your partition key is not unique then you will combine the sort key right in that in that case both of them will become a primary key okay so all the different data types in the dynamo so we can also look into the dynamo documentation so mostly serverless web applications how we are creating we have s3 s3 some updates is happening then api gateway api gateway will trigger the lambda lambda will read the data from uh, dynamo db right so in s3 like the front end application is hosted this front end application will talk to the api gateway it will trigger the lambda lambda will read the data from dynamo db right and i mean you can also deploy the microservices lambda can act as a different microservice uh there are a lot of things which we can just talk about the only thing is the performance of uh, the dynamo right you can you can rely on the performance because you are not going to manage the resources aws is managing your database resources we just need to worry about deciding your table attributes your partition key primary key sort key and that's it okay so you should be able to store all different types like string number binary boolean list all different kind of data you can store in the dynamo okay that's it let's uh, uh, let's get read write data from the lambda using dynamo in the coming videos uh, thanks everyone